Here is lesson eight, side two of our homework. Number four, Andrea's dad is 57 kilograms heavier than Andrea. Andrea weighs 34 kilograms. How much does Andrea's dad weigh? We have a clue word, heavier. Andrea's dad has to be heavier than Andrea because he is older and that is her dad. We know that Andrea weighs 34 kilograms and her dad is 57 kilograms heavier. We are going to take those two numbers and we are going to add them together. So I'm going to see really quickly, thanks for hanging out with me, if I can write those numbers in again like I did before. I would like to write a plus sign. There we go. And finish it. All right, so we're going to go back and we are going to add these numbers. So I have 4 plus 7 gives me 11. So I'm going to put a 1 down below and I'm going to regroup a 1 for my 11. Then I'm going to add 3 plus 5 which gives me eight. One more will give me nine. And I have 91 kilograms. I'm going to answer this in a complete sentence. Let's see where I added the text for me. So I'm gonna add a new text box. And as my sentence, Andrea's dad weighs 91 kilograms. Letter B. How much do Andrea and her dad weigh in total? Here is my clue word, total. Let's look back at our two weights. We have 91 kilograms is how much her dad weighs, and Andrea weighs 34 kilograms. Those are two different numbers. They are not equal groups, so I am not going to multiply to find the total. Again, I'm going to add. So we're going to add... 91 ooh, kilograms plus what Andrea weighs, 34 kilograms. Let's try that four again. And we're going to add those numbers together. 1 plus 4 is 5. 9 plus 3 is 12. So they together weigh 125 kilograms. We're going to write this as a sentence. Andrea and her dad weigh 125 kilograms in total. Number five. Jennifer's grandmother buys carrots at the farm stand. She and her three grandchildren equally share the carrots. The total weight of carrots she buys is shown below. So let's take a minute and look at that. We know she, the grandmother, and her three children equally share the carrots. 
and in total there are 28 kilograms of carrots. How many kilograms of carrots will Jennifer get? How many people are sharing these carrots? We have the grandmother and three more. So I have four people who are sharing these carrots. I'm going to draw a picture. I'm going to start with a tape diagram. And inside that tape diagram, I have four friends who are sharing the carrots. So I'm going to make those four lines. And then I'm going to just extend them so they fill up the whole box. I know that there is a total of 20, 28 kilograms. And I know that four people are going to share them. So I can create, actually I'm gonna write this one. I can create a sentence with what I know. I know my groups and I know my total. I don't know my size. So I'm going to write 28 kilograms divided by four groups equal. So I'm going to count by fours until I get to 28. Use your fingers and count with me. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. If I look down at my fingers, I have seven fingers showing, which is going to give me seven kilograms. I'm going to write that as a sentence. Jennifer will get seven kilograms of carrots. That's a lot of carrots. Think about how heavy that would be. She's going to get quite a lot. Jennifer uses two kilograms of carrots to bake muffins. How many kilograms of carrots does she have left? Oh, we have that clue word again, left. Tell someone sitting near you what left might mean looking back at what we did on the first page of our homework assignment. Did you tell them left means to subtract? If you did, you are correct. We have a total from part A of seven kilograms. We're going to subtract those seven kilograms from the two that Jennifer uses. Let's get rid of this part. Which is going to give us a subtraction problem, seven minus two, which gives us five. If I write this as a sentence, I will have Jennifer has five kilograms of carrots left. This concludes the back of your homework for lesson eight.